everybody, welcome back to another week of WOW Kids Online. This month we have a new big word, it's faith. Trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. We also have a new power verse, it's Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you that we get to come together on WOW Kids Online to worship you and to read your word. I pray that you bless every WOW Kids home and family. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, it's Big Word Vlogs with me, Daily. Let's go see what the pastors are up to. And look, it's Pastor Larry. Let's go see what he's up to. Hey, Pastor Larry. Hey, Daily, how are you? I'm good. What's going on? Oh, just doing some worship here on the piano. All right. Have you have you heard that we've got a new big word this month? No, I haven't heard it. You want to do it with me? Sure. All right, let's do it. Shake it out. And freeze. My hands like this. And today's big word is faith. faith. And it's believing in what you can't, can't see, see because of what you can see. see. Yeah, good All job. All right, good job. Take care. See you later. Let's go see who Pastor Sway's talking to. Pastor Sway. What's up? Who are you talking to? Oh, no, nobody, nobody. How, how you doing, Jaylen? Okay, then. Well, we, uh, we've got a new big word. No you, way. Yeah, you want to say it with me? Sure. All right, all right, all right. So we got to shake it out. All right, and... Oh, and freeze. And today's big word. Word is faith. faith, and it's believing in what you can't see because of what you can see. That was awesome. Good awesome. job, guys. We're we're at the pastor's office. Did you know that it was their fortieth, sixth anniversary this week? Let's go. Uh, let's go see what they're up to. Hey, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just wanted to see if you guys would uh say the say the big word with me. Sure. Uh, yeah, why is your face as red as your hair? Oh, um, anyways, <laughs> let's shake it out. Uh, and freeze. And uh, hands like this. And today's big word is faith. faith. And it's believing in what you can't, can't see, see because of what you can, can see. see. Uh, all right, I, I'll thank you. I'll just leave you guys to do what you, you were doing. Make sure you close the door when you leave, please. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Moments with Maggie. Let's talk about this great man right here. His name is Noah. Noah the Ark. Don't you wish we had faith like Noah? Picture yourself having great faith like Noah. I know I do. I often find myself reflecting on these great men of faith. Take Moses for an instance. Imagine if I were there with that sheep in that burning bush. How would I feel? How would it be? And finally David, he took that slingshot in the pebbles and killed him. For a moment now, let me put myself in David's shoes. How would I feel with man feet <laughs> and also with that much faith? Now this brings us to today's power verse. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Oh. Hey, so here's what we're gonna do. It's called the Faith Fall Challenge. As you know, we are talking about faith the entire month of June. Now remember, here's what Hebrews 11 and 1 says. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. So, Faith Fall contestant number one, let's welcome Isaac! Come on, Isaac! Woo! You, me. You, yes, you. Come you on. you really want me? Yes. You can trust me. Have faith, Isaac. Now, here's what we're in going you. to do. Faith in you. Faith in me, yes. Now, here's how it works. First, I'm going to ask you to climb up onto the couch and turn around backwards towards me. Ready? Let's do this. Hop up. You got this. Come on, bro. You got it. 
All right, now turn around. Turn like, around. Like not looking at you? Yes, quickly, turn around. We've got a lot to do here, guys, and I'm trying to brush them up. Okay, turn around like this, yeah. Now, when I say three, two, one, fall. No, don't fall, fall, what? Yes. yes. Well, I can't fall. But I need you to, okay? So I, but you're like, how do I don't know you're going to catch me? I apologize for this minor you're not, I don't even know if you're going to catch me. I will, I promise. I don't know. I think I okay. need to, I think I need some more like evidence here. I think you should. Right, I'll tell you stuff. what. I'll prove it to you. Okay. Have a seat on the stool. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. That's a lot, I'm a lot more comfortable here. Okay. Stay there for a moment. Let's do it this way. Now, welcome contestant number two, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jaylee. Hi, Jaylee. Come on in. Hello, Come on everyone. In. Hey. Welcome Hi. to the Faith Fall Challenge, and here's what we're going to do. Isaac needs a little persuading, so I'm going to let you go first. So stand up right here on the couch, please. Up, 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 up you go, up you go. Okay. Arms you out serious? like this. You're and here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, yes, I'm serious. Hold on, just watch. <laughs> Three, two, one, fall is your cue, and you're going to help me at home. Ready, everybody? Three, two, you can trust me now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Woo, I'm back here. Can you feel me touching yeah, okay. you? Yeah, no, here I am. There's no way. Here, I promise yeah, I will you, catch you. You don't have to do this. He's got this. Shh. All right. I trust him. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, fall. Trust me, fall. Woohoo! What? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Jamie. <laughs> hey. All right, are you convinced now? I don't know. All right, I let's think... do this. Come on, let's go. You got this. You ready? Here we go. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay, now here we go. In three. All right, turn around. And arms are out. Faith fall. Ready? And three, two, one. I don't know. I don't think I can do this. Oh, good grief. We've got to get on with this message. You know I, what? Have a seat. I'll give you more proof. I just, this Ladies crazy. and gentlemen, welcome contestant number three, Maggie. Woohoo, Maggie. Maggie, right, stand here, please. For it. Here we go. It's gonna make you fall. Everybody at home, count backwards from three, two, one. You know what to do. You heard it before. Trust me, have faith that I will catch you. In three, two, one, fall. Woo, that was Whoa, easy. What? Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, give up for Maggie. Okay. Now, are you convinced? I mean, yeah. I, I think <sighs> Finally. I can trust you, honestly. All right, get up here. Let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Faith fall. In three, two, one, fall. Oh! Woo, oh I got oh, you, Rob. Oh. Yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. Yeah. Get up. As you know, we're going to be talking about faith all month long. Check this out. So let's take a look in the Bible at some amazing faith heroes. First, let's look at the life of a man named Noah. Now, it's important to remember, wow kids, it had never, ever, ever rained. And God says something very unusual to Noah. He's like, Noah, build a boat. Noah may have been like, what? Build a boat? Why am I going to build a boat? But guess what Noah did? He built a boat. He trusted God. Did he see him? Nope. Did he see rain? Nope. A lake or an ocean? Nope. Not even a creek. But Noah built a boat. And this amazing faith hero saved his family and the future of all the animals on our planet. Wow, you go, Noah! Here's another Bible faith hero for you. It's Moses. So Moses, he's out in the field, minding his own business, taking care of his sheep. When suddenly he notices something extremely unusual. What is it? Okay. It's... it's it's a bush. A bush? Well, that's no big deal, you might say, but this bush was different. I love bushes. It was on fire. Yeah, that's right. It was burning, but not burning up. Strange, Moses thought to himself. He walks closer, and the bush talks to him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The bush starts talking. Moses, says the bush. Lead my people, says the bush. And you know what? Without questioning God, Moses obeys. Did he see God? Nope. Did he understand what was going on? Nope. Did he trust God? Yes. And Moses turned out to be the greatest leader of God's people. The greatest leader they had ever known. That's what faith is in God does. Oh yeah, this next one you know real well. It's David. 
Just a little guy. He was a shepherd. A lion attacks his sheep. What does he do? He fights off the lion and defeats him. Then, as if a lion wasn't enough, there was a bear. The bear tries to destroy his sheep. All no, David says, not today, and defeats him with his bare hands. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of faith. Let's not forget the greatest opponent of all, the towering, menacing, huge Goliath. He was intimidating all of God's people, and that's when David steps onto the scene. All he needed was a slingshot. That's right, a slingshot. And within moments, the stone is released, <laughs> and Goliath, falls to the ground, dead. Why? Because David trusted God. David had tremendous hero-like faith in God. Here's what David knew, that you can trust and know Jesus, even when you've never even seen him. Wow, David, you're amazing. And now, for the most important, and final faith hero, you. You can know Jesus even though you've never seen him. You can put your trust in him. You can fall into his arms and know he's gonna catch you every single time. How can you be a faith hero? Oh, you remember these. We call them the big three. Number one, Pray. Talk to him every day. Number two, read your Bible. Know him by letting him come alive through his word. And finally, big three, number three, come to his house or online. Wow, kids on the line. That's what you're doing right now. That's how you become an amazing faith hero. When you know God, when you trust God, all of his power and all of his strength becomes your power and your strength. That's why you are a faith hero. Let's pray. God, thank you for all of the people of great faith that are our example. God, the final greatest example was you, Jesus. You gave your very life for us. Then you sent the power of your Holy Spirit to be our strength so we can be a faith hero. God, help us to trust you more every single day. We love you and we honor you. We praise you. We bless every WOW kid, home and family, in Jesus' name. And all the WOW kids shout, amen. Hey, WOW kids, in this week's Family Bible Challenge, you're gonna learn even more about today's faith Bible heroes. You can get the links to the Family Bible devotions on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we're gonna email it to you. We hope you guys have a fantastic time as a family doing devotions.